Haven't you always wanted to make a gun out of a clothes hanger? Well, now you can. Today on TJ How To's, we'll be making a gun out of a clothes hanger. Yeah, and the things you will need for this project is, well, are a clothes hanger, yeah. a metal one, it would have to be a metal one. A decently strong rubber band. We don't have a strong one, so we use two. Yep. Um, I guess if you want to call these, you can, what have like wire cutters? I don't know, like just something to cut, something strong enough to cut. This is his idea, so he'll be making it. Yeah, and, and if you had pliers as well, but we don't have pliers, so we're going to attempt to use these. Well, we'll see how it goes. It'll be a lot easier if you had just, like, uh, wire cutters and uh, pliers, but whatever. This, this should work, so uh, we'll uh, get to the steps on how to make your gun out of a clothes hanger. Okay, so um, we've kind of abandoned the idea of the, the doer and the donor. Yeah. So I'll be uh, giving this one a whirl. So... Basically, what you want to do first is you grab your clothes hanger and uh, you grab your, hopefully you would have had wire cutters, or just, we just don't have anything like that right now. And you're going to cut, how's that look right there, it's good, it's good. Yes. You're going to cut your uh, clothes hanger right if you have this part right, not on this side, but that side, so that would be right here, just where I'm cutting it. Now this was really hard last time, because these things aren't sharp. Ugh. Oh, kind of hurts, not going to lie, when you have these things. Okay, now let's give this one a go. Oh, oh Jesus! <laughs> the power. Okay. This thing is gonna like kill someone. Look at this. Well, you'll be switching that up here. Like we'll be bending it and stuff, which that's when your pliers come in. Right now, keep this. Keep this right here, because you'll be using that. Well, or you can use other things, but what we saw is this would be used for your ammo. Okay. Okay. So now, you have this thing left over right here. How's that look? Are you getting it? Yep. Okay. So now what we're going to do is, I don't know how well this is going to work, but you want to, actually, can we just bend it with our hands? Yes, you can. It's a bit easier. Okay, so you want to bend it straight up. Well, that's good enough for now. And do the same thing with this one. So now you kind of have this right here. I'm going to just bend that down a smidge. Okay. So now you have this. Now what you want to do is... I actually might straighten this out right here. Oh man, see it'd be so much easier to apply this. whatever, we don't need to do that. So now that you have both of your sides complete like this, you're going to bend it from the half, bend it down just like this. I have no idea what he's doing, so. Now, hopefully this may work. Just to squeeze it down a bit more. Yeah, man. Pliers would be helpful, but... Okay, whatever. That's what you should have for that side now. And you do the same thing for this side. This is mostly like a slingshot. But we have a slingshot video, so we wanted to maybe call it something different. This is probably... Uh, this looks way more like a slingshot than our last one. 
The one with the balloon. So this thing is gonna be our ammo. Yeah, basically. We're just gonna have to cut that, so it's gonna... Jesus, that's dangerous. Well, you will have it bent so there's no sharp part flying at you, hopefully. 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 You're gonna shoot me with it? No, we're shooting it at, uh, probably at a chair or something. Yeah. Or, like, cardboard. Yeah, we have our old projector down there. Oh, yeah, we'll probably shoot at that. Okay. So now, you have this. And just for safety reasons, you probably want to bend this up. We'll just bend that up. And if we had pliers, what I would do, I would start twisting it like this. Ah, see, it's... Well, I guess it'd be... Yeah, no, it's way too hard. But uh, if you had pliers, I would... Okay. <laughs> I would bend it like that, so then this really has no chance of digging into your hand. Uh, let's see how that looks. This part right here, um, uh, up more... Right there. So if you were to bend it, that part would definitely not dig into your hand. But for our sake right now, we're just going to have to be careful about that. Oh, God. What? It's going to be sharp. Yeah, so yeah, be very careful with it. I'm going to flatten it out for you. There. So now you have this when you're hanging on to the handle. Just like that. Now this is when you bring in your rubber bands. Here you go. One and two. And... You grab your rubber band, put one side in there like this. How's that looking? Looking good? Yep. Okay. Stretch it out. Whoops. Hold it down. Stretch it out to this side. Just like that. Bring it all the way to the top for both. There you go. So now you have one there like that. Let me just bend it out a bit. So just like that. And now for us, we're going to use two. And just do the exact same thing. Just like that. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. The camera makes you look like you're like six foot seven or something. Yeah. Okay. Be nice. If we did a like if I did it a bit cleaner. Yeah. Whatever. So now you have this. I'm not saying anything because I have no idea what to say. No, we're just <laughs> gonna use one. Just use one. I think one will be good enough. Okay, so now, this is when, so your slingshot is done, I guess your gun. Wait. Now this is when you bring in this, your ammo. You want to cut pieces about, so if that's your edge, maybe about that long. Just about that much. Okay, now this is going to be freaking painful again. Oops. Why is it so painful? Ah! Okay, there's one. This is like, gonna shoot this? No, and then what you do with this, be nice, we had pliers, but I'll just try using these. You're gonna bend it into a triangle. So. Man. See if we can actually do this with this. Here, we'll be back when we actually maybe find something to bend this into a triangle-ish type shape. It's not really a triangle, but you'll see. Okay, so it's kind of odd, but the way we avoided using pliers again, it's kind of nail clippers. <laughs> it's kind of... Uh, it's kind it's kind of weird. It's nasty, but it's good. But it works. So now I just bend it. Uh, I bent it into this type of shape. 
just like that. It's the ship from Asteroids. No. So, now, uh, you can make a bunch out of that piece you kept. I'll move that there, maybe just bend it down a bit more. Okay. So basically what you do, as we will show here in a second, the shooting test, is you grab it just like this. I'll put it up closer. Right there. And you put it onto the rubber band just like this. Bend it back and we'll shoot it. That is some strong stuff. Okay. So we will be back with the shooting test of the uh, clothes, line, uh, clothes hanger slingshot. The clothesline slingshot, yeah. The clothesline, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we'll see you then. Okay, so we uh, have our slingshot here. We just added a bit of tape for the thing that was sticking out at the bottom there. Yeah, we didn't. I didn't want to cut myself, and we just added a bit of tape here. Yeah. Since we didn't have pliers to squish it down more. Made to made some grip as well. Yeah, made some there. extra grip. So it's optional. You didn't. You don't have to. We just it, did it. It looks nasty. Yeah, it looks. Yeah. <laughs> pretty nasty so now to avoid the bending you just basically hold your fingers up there have your ammo on it right there and let me get a better grip of that there we go put it in the middle aim ready yep yeah. I let go I am sorry I'll do it one more time Where'd Holy! The... Where'd it go? Let me see it. That was. Uh, oh, that is it right there. Wow, that's pretty. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty intense. Jesus! Oh gosh! Okay, uh, we'll be back at the desk, I guess. You can, uh, that was, that was pretty intense. I didn't expect it to go that fast. That's uh -huh. kind of dangerous. It is dangerous. Here's the, never shoot that at somebody. This is the original ammo right here. It almost like went right through it, like through the box. You can, you can use this to make more ammo, but that's friggin' dangerous. Yeah, I didn't expect that. So, yeah, if, maybe adult supervision if you're really really like if you're young and because that's pretty dangerous I didn't expect that like that could really injure somebody so uh, or just use a different type of ammo maybe not like metal uh yeah you could use uh what else I don't know uh, maybe uh, I don't even know what else would bend like that I'm not sure but Maybe leave a comment below what else you could use. I don't know, but maybe wear safety glasses as well. We just didn't expect it to shoot that fast. That was pretty intense. Imagine, like, that would probably go a far distance as well. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we'll do a test on that in the future. Who knows? Yeah, we'll maybe try a range test in one other, t like, one other video, but that was, that was pretty intense. So, okay, well, that was our video on, uh, how to make a close hanger gun or slingshot. And, uh, and if you would like, uh, you can like and subscribe. Even watching the video helps us. And, uh, we are TJ How To's, and we're out. <laughs>